Well, a first of its kind playground attracting attention right here in the Bay Area. It's called a natural playground. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales shows you how it's really encouraging families to go back to the basics. It used to be easy for kids to explore nature. But with more development happening, fewer families have that freedom. I love this. Anything that gets them out of the house away from screens. And that's why Abby Smith drove her two kids from Lakeland to visit the Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Specifically, it's a newest addition. It's rustic. There's not a lot of metal. There's like just wood and natural um, elements. Limited fencing, plastic and metal bringing green spaces into urban areas. They can grow up and hopefully um, be more conscientious and want to help preserve nature. Parents I spoke with love this concept. They want to see more playgrounds like this across the bay, but they do have one concern before bringing their kids here just a couple of feet away is a stream. My kids can swim, but my niece is too, and I'm very nervous about the water. Preserve leaders say they're not adding fencing around the natural stream. Instead, they encourage parents to keep close supervision. Despite her concern, Smith says she'll be back for one reason. Keeping it natural, letting your kids kind of run wild and be sort of feral. This playground, also an experiment. If successful, you'll soon see one like it at the new St. Pete Pier. In St. Pete, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.